and welcome to this series of videos that I'm putting together called Fashion in the City. Where, wherever I travel, I'm going to take you to some of the great events around town. Now we're here in Dubai in particular, but on the Pam Jumeirah and Fairmont the Pan. Where I'm going to be meeting Megan, an amazing fashion illustrator, and be joining her for afternoon tea. Great opportunity to tell our viewers at home watching a little bit about your amazing the dress book, 100 iconic moments in fashion. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the, the whole book and what's it all about. And packaging is absolutely stunning. I love it. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole book, it, as it says, is a hundred dresses, and I wanted to do a book that celebrated dresses that were iconic and iconic for different reasons. So there are dresses in the book that are really memorable dresses that people would know, like the Givenchy dress that Audrey Hepburn wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's, or the Marilyn Monroe dress where her dress kind of flies up in the seven year age. So there's some really memorable dresses in there and also some that people may not necessarily recognise straight away. So I really wanted to vary it from dresses that were really bespoke and couture and very expensive and were always kind of destined for a big debut and then other dresses in there were never destined for greatness they were not very inexpensive but it was who wore them or a moment in a film time, yeah. a time that made that dress iconic so do you have a favorite oh i think the, i do think the Givenchy dress that audrey Hepburn wore in breakfast at tiffany's is so just that moment where she's eating the little baguette staring into the window with that music it's um, timeless it's timeless yeah yeah and it's more i mean you're here on the book tour you've been to um australia mm -hmm. you've australia, been, australia new, york. new york where are you off to next or is it back home uh it's back home after here okay. so the book has come out in the uk mm -hmm. it's come out in asia and um i think by the end of abu dhabi the end of the middle east it will have come out worldwide Fantastic. so congratulations <laughs> so it's very illustrator and entrepreneur <laughs> Well, it's really exciting because it's one of those things where you work on it for a year, kind of on your own and, then, you know, in an unglamorous way, toiling away, drawing it, and then all of a sudden it's finished and you get to kind of come to amazing places like this and celebrate it with other women. And oh, stunning. With Bianca yeah. Jagger, we're looking at know, right now. Studio 54. Yeah. Kate Moss. Oh, really lovely. So it's not just the book. You've also got prints. You've got your own scarves. Yeah. There's a collection going on. Yeah, there is. I mean, I kind of balance my work between the commercial work that I do for luxury brands mainly fashion and I also do a lot of bespoke, bespoke products for myself that I sell like limited edition scarves, um, vases, homeless cushions and prints so I kind of like the balance between working on those smaller bespoke collections and then working with bigger brands on an exciting kind of collaboration in some way. It just keeps it different doesn't yeah, it? Yeah it's kind of a nice balance between the two. And what do you think of fashion in the Middle East? What's your thoughts on oh, that? Oh I'm so it's really fascinating and it's a real diversity I think that's what makes it really interesting and I think in the Middle East you see the best accessories and I think you see a, a really big range of different looks and designs and designers and it's mixed in a different ways, it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. So and there's some really interesting stylists and creative people like you who, you know, have a different twist on I think what their certain their, their personal style is. So, Oh, yeah. oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. The afternoon tea looks amazing. I wish you the best of luck with everything that's going on. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh. My pleasure.